Sam Curtis winning that back from Ryan O'Kane. Two young players. And he's given it away though. Alfie Lewis directs it across to Mountney. Mountney, good control. Picks out the pass to Stephen Bradley. He looks to release Ryan O'Kane. What a good ball that is. O'Kane cuts in onto the right foot. Now the left. O'Kane with the shot. Only just outside the post. But more brilliance from Ryan O'Kane. Really, really good play there between both, both wingers. Bradley first and then out to O'Kane. And he's done what he's, what he's done in the last number of weeks. He's just got, as soon as he gets on, his first instinct is take people on. He's so positive on the ball. Great first touch inside. And he just turned Curtis again. And in fairness, he's got a great strike on it, just the wrong side of the post. To talk may have the edge historically over St. Pat's, but recently there has been a swing towards today's visitors. Dundalk have won just two of the last ten meetings between the two clubs. The 4-1 Pats win here in August last year was the Saints' biggest ever at Casey's Field and their first here since August 2012. Here's Chris Forrester with the chance to shoot! Oh, and Chris Forrester! Fires that pass, Nathan Shepherd. And St. Patrick's Athletic have come here for the three points. Alan Matthews said so before the game. And they've got the lead goal. It's Dundalk nil, St. Patrick's Athletic won. We mentioned it before the game, the quality that Chris Forrester has. And he's fed a lovely little ball on the edge of the box. Just takes a touch, open his body, and he's given Shepard no chance. But it's all come from sloppy play by Sam Bone. He's in, in good possession on the edge of his own box. And he's played a terrible pass out to Mount. It was Anto Bresden was intercepted. But no can't take away from the finish absolutely top quality from Chris Forrester but if you give him that kind of time and space in the edge of the box that's what he's going to do to you Dundalk corner kick here what can they create from it cross comes in from Bradley and it's Greg Sloggett and that's cleared off the line Sloggett it was that returned it in it was Owen Doyle more used to action inside the six yard box at the opposite end of the pitch but he clears that off the line and it remains to Jock Nilsson Pats 1 yeah, that was a really really good ball in by Bradley just changed the angle between himself and O'Kane and I think it was Greg Slogger coming in the back post he didn't get a full purchase on it but once again a great run by Doyle good ball by Bresden but Shepard's starting position is so so high and he's, he's so brave off his line that he just sniffed it sniffed it out here's Benson now Benson to Ryan O'Kane, full of confidence. The youngster with the shot. Yes! Ryan O'Kane! It's a magnificent goal! Ryan O'Kane! He just directs the shot beyond Danny Rogers into the bottom right hand corner and Dundalk are level. It's Dundalk 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 1. Okay, we've mentioned how, how electric Ryan O'Kane has been of late. He is the one creative spark, the one that looks so positive in the last number of weeks. And once he's got that ball, his first instinct is just drive inside. He's got inside and he's just hit a wonderful shot right into the bottom far corner off the bottom of the post. An excellent finish. Now it's Leahy and Leahy goes back to his goalkeeper Nathan Shepherd. We've had a sending off in the match between Bowes and Drogheda United at Dalymount Park and Jordan Flores, an ex Dundalk player of course, two yellow cards and he's off. So Dundalk with the man advantage for the remainder of that one. Here's Anto Breslin with the cross in towards oh, Owen really Abbey. Good ball. And Andy Boyle with those defensive instincts getting there and putting it behind for a corner kick for St. Patrick's Athletic. It's an excellent ball in by, by Anto Breslin. He just put it in behind the back, Dundalk back four and Owen Abbey coming, coming across. Both sides there are guilty of dwelling on the ball and losing possession. I suspect that Stephen O'Donnell would wish that this game was a little bit more boring for the next that's seven or eight the, minutes. Quality, but the work rate and effort from both sides. Here's Joe Redmond in space and it's well, it's blocked away by a Dundalk defender. And how he's found that much space around about, what, 18 yards, 12 yards from goal, I'm not too sure. Well, Pat's really starting to turn the screw here. Again, little signal, pre-work free kick, he just spun out. Again, you're in those crowded players, someone's obviously got blocked off. Derry City lead by 3 to nil against Finn Harps now. At the Brandywell, continuing their fantastic form. Here's Robbie Benson. Benson has smuggled that through to Ryan O'Kane into the penalty area. Sam Curtis with some strong, robust defending. Now Barry Cotter, will he have time to make something happen? He might. We have 20 seconds remaining here. And here's Tundi Abbey 
Oh, well, I'll be into the penalty area. Dundalk need to stop him. Chance here, and the cross, and it's in! And St. Pats have got a winner! And St. Pats can celebrate! So Dundalk 1, St. Patrick's Athletic 2. Absolutely massive goal for St. Pats, and again, it, it's poor from Dundalk. They shouldn't be hit on the counter attack, and John Mountain, he's done well, he's, he's held up, held up Olavia. Nathan Shepherd will send this long towards Dave McMillan. Adam O'Reilly, the winning goal scorer as it stands, wins two headers, and there is the last header of the game. And the referee, Damien McGrath, who docks really, really bad fortune underneath him as the referee continues. Not that he had anything to do with that tonight. If you look at the four league games over the course of the season, that's one win each and uh, two draws. So I think in all four games, we could probably argue that we could have won all four. So um, we deserved we deserved a, a late goal um, in a game this season. And uh, what a fantastic goal as well to, to win a game of football.